Good morning guys, Kia sent us a few images, actually two images about the new Kia K9 or K900. So today I'm going to give you a quick look on the new Kia K900. Okay, quick background, Kia K900 is river driven flagship sedan from Kia. Size wise it's over 5 meters, which slots right between Genesis G80 and G90. And Kia K900 was first introduced back in year 2012 looking like this and the second generation was rolled out in year 2018 looking a bit more plain compared to the first generation in my opinion. So this new one should be considered as the facelift of the second generation. And there has been rumors saying this new Kia K9 will also wear an e badge just like from Kia Stinger. Well, because this is also rear wheel driven sedan. But as you can see, we just have a Kia logo on the top, but it's actually a new one, so it looks more clean. So, guys, do let me know how do you like the new Kia logo in the comment section. We still have same looking island type bonnet on the top. So what I changed from the front, first of all, it has larger grille compared to the last generation. It also has new grille pattern, which seems very similar to the one from the all new Kia K8 or Kia Cadenza. An overall shape of the grille has changed from a rectangular one to a hexagonal shape, giving a bit more twist, I guess. And new headlamp system is now placed horizontally, giving the car more wider stance. And in more detail, you can see it has headlamp, high beam on the bottom and daytime running lamp on the top and probably bifunctional turn signal on the top. I might be wrong about the bifunctional turn signal on the top, but this new headlamp system is making the car look both sharper and wider. And if you guys are enjoying this, please like this video and subscribe so we can grow this channel together and have more fun together. Thank you guys. And looking at the car from the side, everything remains pretty much the same. Same side mirrors and very similar looking side profile. But Kia designers actually have added a garnish on the fender with new Kia logo. And according to Kia, this guy is wearing new 19 inch rims designed for new Kia K900. So except for those two things, everything remains pretty much the same. And looking at the car from the rear, Kia did not touch the quarter panel design because when they do, everything starts to become very costly. So we still have very similar looking tail lamp design, but it's now connected all the way to the center, making the car look wider and also feel more connected. And if you see closely, Kia changed the rear design quite a bit. First of all, they moved the license plate from the top to the bottom new Kia logo in the middle they also placed the trunk opener right below the 360 camera it also has new K9 lettering on the left it also says 4x on the right they probably wanted to say this new K900 also has all-wheel drive system and why didn't they just say all-wheel drive system we also have reflectors backup lamp and dual exhaust on the bottom and really hope it's not fake so that was about the exterior changes. What about the powertrain? Well, I'm hearing this new Kia K900 will feature 3.8 liter V6, 3.3 liter twin turbo, and possibly 3.5 liter twin turbo straight out of Genesis G80. But unfortunately, I'm hearing the 5 liter Tau V8 might be discontinued. All engines are made to 8 speed automatic, turning the rear wheels all through the all wheel drive system. And Kia just didn't tell us about the interior just yet, but I'm sure it's going to feature two large screens, one for the gauge cluster and one for the infotainment screen. I'm also sure it's going to be packed with many, many features. And when we will see it, what I'm hearing, we'll be able to show you the new Kia K9 or K900 this June, which is right around the corner. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, this has been our quick look on the new Kia K900. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and bye bye.